Glenn Greenwald is an independent journalist, very independent. He writes on Substack. He joins us tonight. So, Glenn, what, I mean, I, I don't think you're shocked by this, but you do have to ask, like, why are they telling us this now? The evidence was overwhelming from the very beginning, Tucker, that the uh, emails were authentic, and yet they lied and lied and lied, as you just showed, trying to convince people to not even pay attention to them on the grounds that they were disinformation, that the emails were fake. Now, the new book that just came out is from this young reporter at Politico who spent months digging into all of these emails, and obviously, had he unearthed proof that these emails were forgeries and put that in his book, he would be a star. You would know his name. He'd be a house household name, he'd be on every right. TV show. But because his reporting said the opposite, he found even more proof that all those emails were authentic, which meant that these media outlets, all of them pretty much, with a few exceptions, deliberately lied to the public in the weeks before the election by telling them that this was Russian disinformation when they knew it wasn't true. They're ignoring his book. He's, a, he's not a right-wing journalist. He's from one no. of the most mainstream publications. He has the proof in his hands that they all lied and they don't want anyone to know it. Are, uh, do you honestly think that they, if you're NBC News, if you're CNN, if you're the New York Times, the Washington Post, can you just sort of move forward as if you didn't participate in a lying campaign to influence a political election? You know, as you know, Tucker, I was at the media outlet that I founded when this all happened, and they were the ones who published as well the claim that this was Russian disinformation, and then a week later told me that I couldn't report on this story because the documents weren't verified in contrast to the CIA lie that they had published. So all throughout the media, this is their prevailing mindset. They know that they have an audience filled with liberals who hate Donald Trump and the Trump movement, and their only business model is to aggrandize those people. And they know that even if they lie and get caught caught lying, their audience and readers don't care, in fact, like them even more because they believe they're on the right side. So you have a huge numbers of journalists who believe that they have the right to lie. And even when they get caught, they don't care because they know their audience won't hold it against them. I, you came on, I think, immediately after you left The Intercept. And I, I thought it was said then, but looking back on it, the media outlet that you founded tried to make you lie or prevented you from telling the truth. I mean, that's just really sums up the moment we're living in. I'm really sorry that you went through that. I just think it's awful in every way. Uh, but you're thriving, obviously. Glenn Greenwald, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.